Hello everyone. You must be aware of the word atom. Now let's see what's inside the atom. Atoms make up everything. But what makes up atom? Protons, electrons and neutrons. There are 118 different kinds of atoms which each are the smallest part of an element. If we observe elements like gold, carbon and oxygen in modern periodic table we can say that they have very different properties which don't look but act same but why are they so different well it comes down to what's inside their atoms as you can see atoms are made up of just three types of tiny particles protons electrons and neutrons and each of these tiny particles does something special For example, it's the number of protons inside the atom that makes each element different. If we look at the periodic table, the first element hydrogen has one proton. The second element helium has two proton and third element lithium has three protons. This goes on all the way up to the 118th element that is oxygen which has 118 protons By the way the number of protons in an atom is also called as atomic number which you can see here in the periodic table of elements Now let's talk about electrons Electrons are much smaller than proton They zip around the protons in an lightning speed making something called an electron cloud Electron do this because they have a negative charge which always pulls towards the proton's positive charge this pull between the positive proton and negative electron is called the electric force and it's always there so whenever a free electron gets close enough to a lonely proton they become part of the same atom so why do atoms need neutrons well without neutron the electric force will cause the positively charged proton to push each other out of the atom but there's a stronger force that exists between neutron and proton which stops the proton from flying apart it's called the strong force which is a kind of a glue to hold nucleus together if there were no neutrons everything would simply be hydrogen 